As the temperatures rise, so does the excitement for the going band from Raiderland. And this year, more students auditioned for the band than ever before. KCBD News Channel 11's Brittany Crittenden caught up with the director just weeks before the season's debut. I think there's a lot of excitement. I'm, I mean, we can really see that, especially in the numbers. Nearly 420 Red Raiders will represent the Scarlet and Black in the Goan Band this year. Director of Athletic Bands Joel Pagan says it's the largest band in years. More than 500 students auditioned. Even with just our inventory, we have to be real careful because we wouldn't have enough instruments for those individuals, believe it or not. So there are a lot of variables that we had to consider when we uh, cut, cut it down to our final number. It's been three a days all week for the Red Raiders, meaning they practice in the morning, afternoon, and evening. Pagan says with the heat, they take frequent breaks and encourage students to drink lots of water. We like to say we don't take quote unquote corporate water breaks. You know, we say if you if you're feeling, you know, tired, or if you're feeling hot, step out, grab some water, step back in. Pagan says their new uniforms are also lighter and more breathable. Plus, they'll have the going band looking spiffy on televisions across the nation in November. Soon, the Red Raiders will start practicing for the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. You know, we're the largest, most visual organization on campus, uh, but to be on that national stage to represent not just Texas Tech, Lubbock, but the state of Texas, um, I think it's really great and really cool. And, you know, we're going to make this city and this day very proud in November. Pagan says you'll know right away when it's the going band's turn to play. Uh, we have some great music in store and things I think everyone's going to recognize and be able to say that's Texas Tech University. He says all of this year's excitement will fuel the program for years to come. Brittany Crittenden, KCBD News Channel 11.